This is the Doctor continuing the playthrough of Long War in May, and I have a landed raider. This is a golden opportunity to get more resources. Unfortunately for me, my roster has some problems. You can see the vast majority of my soldiers are fatigued, and I'm going to have some difficulty fielding, fielding rather a good team. This is not unusual in Long War. Sometimes you can get a flurry of missions. I don't want to fatigue either of my officers again. Uh, they're both coming down in one day, so this is ha gonna have to be a mission where I go without an officer. I will make my selection and then resume the video. Alright, I am done making my selection. This is pretty much uh, my entire roster of soldiers who aren't fatigued. It's not the best team, but it's got a good core. Opportunists Infantry to lay overwatch ambushes, sniper to do some damage from range, rocketeer with monstrous aim, and I gave him a shredder uh, rocket. So this soldier and monstrous move, this soldier will be critical. If I'm in trouble, which I expect to be, it will just blow everything up for me. Gunner for some suppression. Um, this map is heavy vegetation, so I decided to take a saw. The one thing I want to point out is I haven't promoted this soldier yet. And at rank 3, really your choices are heat ammo or shredder ammo. I mean, on the one hand, shredder is useful against 100% of targets. Which is great, there are some enemies you really want to shred, like Mutant Berserker for instance. On the other hand, heat ammo even though it doesn't, you know, work against 100% of enemies, it works against some of the most dangerous enemies in the game. And if you don't take heat ammo on your gunner, you're almost certainly going to be forced to bring a shiv with heat ammo, because relying solely on, like, shredder to destroy robots can get kind of dicey. There are mechdroids, for instance, who, once they have that shield up, take tremendous amounts of punishments even from shredding. And you need to bust through that shield. To bust through the shield, you need heat, heat ammo. So, like, because of that, because the couple enemy of robotic enemies are extraordinarily dangerous, it's actually a good choice to take heat ammo. I have experimented with shredder ammo in the past, found that it is not nearly as amazing as I thought. So for this run, I am going to try some more heat. This soldier also has 8 health. What is up with like the extreme disparity? Either my soldiers have like no health. This is the thing about hidden potential. And 5 is kind of a little low, but it's sort of standard. Or like monstrous levels of health. It's crazy. Anyway, my team is prepared. So let's begin. It's also nice with Shredder because, I mean, not with Shredder, with Heat Ammo because there are certain situations where, like, if you have Heat Ammo, Our you're guaranteed a one-shot Seekers, for instance. That's pretty nice. It looks you like can, out in you the know, the trading one soldier for one alien is almost always a great deal. The local population. So because of situations like that, or let's say you trigger Cyberdisc and pot of floaters or something, well, having one soldier take out the cyber disc is great, because if you use shredder ammo, you're pretty much gonna be forced to use shred first, assuming that hits. Well, you have to assume the you know, heat ammo hits too, but so we'll take that out of consideration. You shred first, and then you're gonna use like three or four soldiers to take down the cyber disc. Whereas with heat ammo, you do like 14 damage to the cyber disc. Roger that and then, Strike one. You are it like, takes deploy. two soldiers Approach to mop up, you said, the rest caution. of your team. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. Yeah, it's this map. So for this map, the trick is to go slow and steady. This area offers plenty of cover. Aliens can definitely come at you from the left. Can't really come at you from the right because, well, we see everything. So my initial plan here is simple. Just bunker down in this area, take out a patrol or two, and after that, we'll advance. There are four pods. What you don't want is, you know, fighting a group here and a second pod here. That can happen. So, that's happened to me more than once. Whatever mel there may be on this map is not really a critical consideration. Let's move out here. I really want to take care of this Heading flank. There now. At all possible. And we'll proceed. Maybe to the ridge. Maybe not even there. That's affirmative. Hmm. 
Heading out. Opportunist Sound. infantry can go here. The other infantry can move up. Moving to designated position. Alright, this seems good. Hmm. Floaters, okay. I can take floaters. Let me just take a look Head out. I'm super paranoid about this flank. It always comes back to haunt me. Okay. really want to fight in this direction. I mean, if there's a pod there, my cover is kind of... I mean, it's not really the best. Hmm. But this flank seems clear, which makes it so that I don't mind advancing this direction. I think we'll probably bunker down around this area a bit. On the move. So has really good move. And just uh, take things very slowly. Let's see. Mm, shots aren't the best, but I can't really see a better position. I mean, that's a good position, but I think I'll stay put here. Roger that. Hmm. Boy. Copy that. Maybe I should move him there. Je reste en observation. Tom, Tom. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Viens jouer ici avec Tom. Landed ships have a full crew, crew complement and often more advanced aliens. All I hear are floaters, which which suggests to me that they are also likely seekers. When you love us, I don't hear any mutons, which is great. I'm not scared of seekers, obviously, but nasty floater group could be bad. Also a little worried about thin men, but aye, aye, Commander. Really want to trigger a pot so I can pull back and fight. But they must be near the UFO. Well, that's the case. Continue the slow and steady advance. Got it. It's a great opportunity to move the Rocketeer up. Roger Dodger. Infantry first, you never know. Oh, that. Okay. This position looks aye, aye. good. Come, come. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Aye. Okay. Yeah, getting that meld is not gonna happen. Wow, this map has three meld containers. Oh, it's so tempting. Who knows? I don't know why I'm not triggering any pods yet, but not a Moving. bad thing. Huh. There must be a lot of seekers on this map. Like, if there are three bots of seeker and one bot of floaters, pfft, trivial group. Especially my heat ammo gunner, it's really easy. But, and... Affirmative. But you don't know that. You can't know. Hmm. Well... Who knows, maybe I take the mail next turn. It's kinda surprising. That could be real On the move. Huh. It's really odd. I don't know what's going on. That's affirmative. It's very surprising. Let's see. Mm. I'm on the move. Sweet. 
Generally, you want to leave your infantry in cover so you can shoot and move. But with opportunists, sometimes I move them out like this. Well, they've got to be near the UFO. I even have a laser shatter ray equipped on this scout. Well, this seems pretty obvious to me. We'll move like a small amount forward and overwatch everyone else. Like we'll move here. I'm on the move. Next turn I'll get the meld and everyone else stays put. Except I'll reposition my infantry slightly. This is the medic. Move you guys. Here. You here. Position confirmed. All right. Okay, I'll just no go 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 It's no guarantee I'll get that meld, but Hey, look at that. Good fortune, huh? Do I want to do it this way or do I want to do it this way? It doesn't really matter that much. I'm rolling. Here they come. Alien objects. Yeah, I was right about seekers. All of them went to stealth. That's interesting. Got it. Six mil, juicy, juicy. Well, I'm not gonna I'm use the, the scanner on this group. I'm just gonna overwatch everyone and let the seekers slaughter themselves. Uh, keep you okay. here. Why not? On overwatch. Got it Even overwatch Scared. these soldiers, but this one I'll set a in case, in case something bad happens. Six mil is great. I'm not gonna tempt fate. The remaining canisters are probably irrecoverable, but slow and steady. The real loot is all the Illyrium, all the alloys, all that good stuff that I really want. So I'm gonna pull back my soldiers a little. Good to go. Cluster them together. The hell? This is almost like a bug. Or maybe not. It was stealthed and then it did. Overwatch? They can do that? Whoa, what is going on? Is this like advanced seeker tactics? That's not bad. I actually kind of applaud them for doing this. Um, I mean, it's a pretty good tactic, so... Headed there now. So, good for them. Hollow targeting. I'm gonna try to kill the one with more health. Probably has perks that boost its damage. It's a great time to use the heat ammo gunner. Oh, yeah. Flushing target. Huh, that didn't do any damage? Oh, it did three damage. Okay. I was like, I thought that had a really good chance of killing it, but that's okay. Nailed. Boom, one down. Shoo. Heading there now. I have to go there. Shoo. Might as well overwatch you now because. Well, that's affirmative. I'm gonna hide you. Just in case, just in case. Seekers can stealth and overwatch. That's very interesting. I've never seen that behavior before. Opportunist infantry for the win. Not bad. Oh. Looks like that one's gonna get my gunner. Shot wide. Now it goes stealth again. 
Very interesting tactics from the Seeker. It's pretty good, actually. Might as well move my scout out. What if it's doing the same right, trick? Commander. Doesn't look like it this time. Okay. When you love us. The other mail canister might be over there. That's common. I mean, if there are just floaters and seekers, this is a really easy mission, but you never know. Okay, one pot effectively down. I mean, the last one is hidden, but not really relevant. Heading out. They will always attempt to strangle you as opposed to a point blank shot Moving from out. stealth. Unless they're revealed, in which case they always shoot you. So, something to keep me mind. Here we go. Hmm, is he going after the same soldier again? Damn it, missed the target. That's good. I can. Oh, it's going after the scout. It's less good. I was like, oh, I could just heal, but apparently not. Actually, want to see if I can get the other meld. Oh, this is like so. Risky. Oh, it's not here. Eh, take this slow. Since I am like, I know I can one shot this, so that's the only soldier I'm gonna need. I just do this position. first. He's dead. Being able to one shot certain enemies is really nice. On it. I see the route. Now. This looks like a good position. Right here. Copy that. Moving to position. Let's do this. Back online. Gotovness number one. Oh, now I hear mutons. Okay, this is gonna get interesting. When you love us. Well, there's no melody here. They must be in the UFO. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty suicidal to breach. I could trigger outsiders and floaters and all manner of nasties. This ridge line is not a bad place to fight from, but I have to reposition. Hmm. You can often get the high ground. But I sort of have the high ground here, too. I'm just gonna bunker down, wait for the aliens to patrol over here, and then kill them. As Heading they come. There now. Seems like a wise course of action. On the move. Let's rock. Position my suit a little better. D'accord. Je vois l'œil, commandant. Headed there now. Good to go. Roger that. Scan. Yes, sir. Missioner in the Rudinia. They do appear to be in the UFO. I don't want to wander out too far and trigger like two groups at once. Won't be able to fall back. Yeah, there are mutons. Hmm. This position, I do admit, is a little awkward. But hmm. position confirmed. I'm on the move. 
Heading to that location. Need to take out at least one, preferably two for patrols. Uh huh, I was right. Uh huh. One of those floaters is even exposed, which is nice. Sounds like there's more movement using the UFO. Perhaps more of the crew is coming out. Well. Juicy, juicy rocket. This is unlikely to kill them, but it should severely weaken them. Bring in the pain. Whoa! I killed all three? Okay, I get fewer artifacts, but um, worth it. I mean, I really wasn't expecting the rocket to kill him. Oh, that was a misclick. That's terrible. Fortunately, I'm just not screwed because of it. I wanted to use hollow targeting, but it's mostly irrelevant. Bye bye. Okay. Really didn't expect the rocket to do that much damage. But yeah, sometimes you can just get money rolls like that. Gonna wait for another patrol to come out, slaughter that. Aha! This is an interesting group. Look at how cool the pod variations are. You got your, you know, sectoid floater muton group. Isn't that just cool? Well, you're a medic, you're not really meant to tank. Your job is to run back. I could take a shot now, but I'm just gonna steady aim. It's actually probably better to have taken a shot. Uh, let's see, what can the mutons do? They can't really do anything. They're likely to move and okay. move again. So I'm just gonna overwatch everyone. I don't expect them to be able to do damage to any of my soldiers. Nice job. Perhaps this is going to be another suicide mutan. These soldiers are much less effective on their overwatches, unfortunately. Yeah, that mutan is in a really bad spot. Um, two floaters in a sector. I'm gonna just move. Up. Could be a little risky. Nah, let's not take such risks. 100%. Yeah, 100% is just a good shot. Take well done. Gonna wait for the okay, rest of them to right keep go coming now. out. Good to go. Yeah, they might be able to flank this position. You never know. It's unlikely though, but you never right. know. Aha! Uh -huh, and the last pod, Seekers. Now I've triggered every single enemy on the map. That's perfectly fine. I know exactly how many enemies are left. Sectoid, mostly irrelevant. Two floaters could be dangerous. Apparently three Seekers here could be somewhat dangerous in conjunction with the floaters. Hmm, I heard something decloak. Well... My worry is that all the aliens attack at once, which would be a monumental disaster. I'm trying to see. So obviously the floaters in this area, what sort of cover can I take against them? Not floaters, the seekers. Uh, a lot depends on where the floaters are. Hmm. Maybe better just to overwatch, instead of attempting to alpha strike the seekers thinking. The problem is, if the floaters come through this door, it's fine. If the floaters come through this direction, they can potentially flank me unless I fall back all the way over here. Hmm. I 
I'm not gonna scan yet. Moving out. I am, however, going to bunch up most of my troops. Location confirmed. I'm on it. We're green to go. Okay, je surveille the cover. All right, come on, seekers. You know you want to attack without coordination. Or if I take out like a floater or two, that also works. If like the AI coordinates is there to its attack perfectly, I could be in serious trouble. Yeah, that rocket obviously paid off because taking out that group. Okay, now I'm gonna take out the two floaters pretty safely. Miss. Miss the target. Okay. Huh? No line of sight from here. It's unexpected. It's very unexpected. Actually, not really any place I can move. Except maybe here. I have to take out that floater, though. Do I have 100%? Not quite. Can I get hollow targeting? If I hollow target, uh, I can get fling from here, though. But if I move here, I should be fine. On my way. So is a sectoid. It's mostly relevant enemy. I was I also consider shooting a rocket, but not gonna be necessary at this point. I feel. One's really likely to run. On peut y aller. I feel, Commander. I'm on the move. So I'm not super worried. Target still up. Yes, sir. Move the ship. Ooh, that's more of a problem. Not bad! Nice coordinated attack by the AI. But my Overwatch saves my critical soldier over there. Not bad by the AI. Probably should have strangled the gunner first, huh? But it's not the move it made. That's actually a really good coordinated attack. I'm impressed. Fortunately, I still think that floater is likely to. No? It's gonna try to flank me, but it can't. Okay, this is fine. I can deal with this. I have a saw. Oh, I didn't take this auto shotgun. I almost always do. I forgot this time. Crap. That's that's a problem. Well. Draw out the Overwatch. You have a sawed off. What do I need to draw out the Overwatch? Weapons empty, can't engage. Shot failed to connect. 84 is pretty good. But of course that guy. Ah, missed. Okay. Uh, two shots. 49. Point blank. This doesn't work. That's gonna be a problem. Missed. Or just the one shot? Right, right. Okay, that's actually a really big problem now. This is more 
dangerous. Hmm. Really don't want him strangling that gunner, but. Oh, this is gonna do damage to both. Unless the problem is like using a shredder rocket for this trick is too risky. Unless you do something like this, which should work. You can see how this is not targeting a friendly soldier, and because of the cover mechanics and the low scatter, it should be fine. Just want to move it out a little bit. This is my sort of backup plan here. Should have moved the scout. All right. Firing rocket. Well done. Might as well heal himself. Oh boy. Hopefully the floater runs and panics. But I can't count on that. I might lose a soldier here. Uh, might as well heal myself. Nope. The AI finally made a good move. And he shot my infantry up. Good move, finally, by the AI. Do something. I'm pinned down. But I can save that soldier, fortunately. It is unfortunate the infantry is going to have such low will. But finally, the AI made a decent move. My sniper just couldn't hit this floater for some reason. Now oh, you hit, but... Yeah, the positioning probably could have been better, like... Moved out the infantry there a little too aggressively. Moved out the scout there a little too aggressively. I mean, I'll have no problem saving the soldier, but... Otherwise, this mission could have gone really, really well. It's almost like trivial at this point. Well, I shouldn't say that. Wonder how flush interacts with suppression. I'm curious. Here. This sort of worked. Okay. <laughs> All right. Poor soldier could have died, but he didn't. So, and the map is cleared of enemies. So, all there are left are two outsiders Good to go. that I can kill at my leisure. So, I'm, I'm gonna like... pause the video now. Let's do this. All right, I found the two outsiders. Fortunately, they're in relatively good position. But it's not going to bother me too much. I actually don't want to use explosives. I don't want to destroy the uh, valuable artifacts. That might be a mistake. We'll see. plan is simple. Shoot at this thing until it dies. Hmm, that DR is really working out for it, huh? But no matter. Next. Position confirmed. I mean, he, he can't flank this position, so it'll be fine. I'm on the move. To make doubly safe. Flashbang. Suppress. It's most likely move will probably be the hunker. 
Now it's gonna try to shoot. That all you got? Has like a minus 80% penalty. Oh, plus the 45 from cover. Yeah, there's no chance of it hitting. It's over at okay. this point. Sawed off, of course, is no guarantee to crit. That's why we have backup plans. That's affirmative. Care 17 of. aliens. Um, I think for the most part the mission went very well except for that one soldier getting critically wounded for 36 days. It's unfortunate. Also infantry always a good class. Fortunately I have a decent selection of infantry. But always unfortunate for something like that to happen. I mean the AI you can see in this video use much better tactics. The two floaters moved out to pin me from one flank and then the three seekers attack simultaneously. That's pretty good. So, I mean, when the two floaters move out, I was like, well, I better take care of the floaters now in case the seekers come and I couldn't take care of the floaters. Um, I missed some shots with reasonable chance to hit, but and then I had to take care of the seekers and the floater got a flank off on me. So pretty good job by the AI. Pretty good job. Battle scanners are a no-brainer for the scout. Well, finally, you have 4 HP now. And smoke grenades. Ooh, extra health. Always nice. And look at the loot from this. 40 alloys. Finally, I have some alloys. 36 Illyrium, 8 weapons fragment, 7 meld. I even got a container of meld. Well, one of the containers is hidden in the UFO, so there's no chance to get it. The other one must have also been hidden somewhere in the UFO. So, I mean, I'm actually surprised I got that. Uh, I did blow up quite a few floaters, only 8 weapons fragment, I mean I killed so many aliens that, um, you know, it is unfortunate, but, but I think that rocket was great, because imagine, if that rocket, uh, if I did not fire the rocket, there'd probably be 2, maybe 3 floaters left alive, then the next group of, you know, floaters plus muton plus, um, sectoids came, and then the Seekers come, that would be a huge problem. Taking out those pods early on when you have a good rocket is just, you just gotta do that. And it prevents all sorts of random issues. Don't get too greedy. Now that I actually have some alloys, I desperately do need engineers. I don't like to trade alloys for stuff early on, but I feel okay doing this now. It's still kind of like, I would much rather, if this were for two scientists, I would not do it, but need engineers desperately the so engineers all right this morning, Commander. We're always looks good glad whatever to happened to that so, not this this soldier his will is now basically crap his other stats are pretty good though um hmm it's unfortunate maybe this will be a candidate for mech I don't know. We'll see. I don't really use mechs, but I mean, he's still useful. Infantry are always useful. The health is pretty good. He just can't ever be an officer, and he needs to be brought along with an officer. There are many missions where I take like two infantry, so as long as his aim is pretty good, we can we can work with that. All right. Thank you for watching.